Let's turn myself into UG Dadu. That should not look like this. I screwed up, guys. This is such a waste of time. Maybe I should stop. Let's start things off by selecting myself using the guess what pen tool. We are going to absolute accuracy here folks because we want this transformation to be nothing short of amazing. And there you go. Now it's time to carefully remove this small area from the background using our truly trusty brushes. Notice that Yuji Itadori has no beard nana so it's time for me to shave that off as well. I was a bit hesitant about this step but hey we are in this together. Let's tackle those eyebrows next. Yuji's got those thin straight brows so I will gradually change mine to match. Gotta get that authentic look. And what's up with this fake looking hoodie? I cranked up the saturation to make it pop. But it's time to upgrade it to better stock hoodie. With a bit of warp and masking, we will make it blend seamlessly with the rest of the costume. Now let's zap away all those distracting logos and letterings on my clothes using the magic of content aware fill. Time to make my shoes red just like UG's. A simple adjustment layer of hue and saturation and we are good to go. Easy peasy just like my narrations. I'm tweaking some part of hoodie to make those folds look more natural. Uh, look at that sinister smile. It's got to be in the right spot. Next up, covering my hair with the pink wig. I snagged from a cosplayer's pick. And just like that, I have got that signature pink hair without a drop of hair dye. Now let's add those famous Sukuna markings. They show up when Yuji's body is taken over by the king of curses. With a bit of warp, I am adjusting those markings around my face. They used to look like a plain tattoos, but I had this idea to make them look like cracked opening on Yuji's body. It adds that sinister presence of Sukuna crushing Itadori's body whenever he is in control. With some shadows and highlights, those markings will look like 3 like actual openings. And what's occurs without some fire? Let's add some fairy textures to make it look like the skin is stretching under the power of Sukuna. Now it's time to make my eyes red to give them that spooky touch. This is it for the final comparison between the characters and my cosplay team. Pretty cool right? And finally let's create a malevolent shrine inspired background to really set the scene.
there you have it folks my epic UG Ikatori transformation wishing you all happy Halloween by the way Sukuna is my favorite character from Jujutsu Kaisen let me know in the comments who is your favorite character and I hope you have not stopped learning and creating see you in the next one